Hi, and welcome to another edition of my 6th edition Tyranid overview of the unique creatures now coming out in the Codex that ha we haven't seen before. This time we're going to be dealing with the Hive Crone, which is a flyer that's designed to melee other flyers, not just shoot at them. Apparently it can fly at them and hit them. Um, the it does this by using what it calls a raking strike and a raking strike is basically as i understand it an improved version of vector strike uh it's improved in that it attacks at the strength plus three so the strength is five which means it attacks at a uh at a strength eight uh, you use it during your movement phase, and it counts as firing one weapon for when you go on into the next phase, into the assault phase or firing phase. And uh, boom. Apparently you can do that to, to, to zooming craft, which probably is going to tear apart most zooming craft. Uh, the other thing it has is it has these apparently living missiles called tentaclids, which are strength 5, uh, AP5, I believe, and uh, they have seeking, so they don't, they're, well, they're seeking 36-inch range, so they don't need line of sight. Uh, seeking in this case, though, basically gives it a twin-linked effect against zooming and swooping monstrous creatures. So that means that if you miss you get a chance to re-roll your hit. Boom. Uh, the other cool thing about it is that it has a haywire effect, which is what makes it interesting. So I guess when you're firing it at a vehicle or at other flyers, you roll haywire. You don't have to worry about the strength 5 AP5. You just roll the haywire effect. You've got four of them. They're one use only. And that takes care of that. What else is it? It has a drool cannon, which is pretty much a heavy flamer. It's a template weapon uh, that that you then use on, again, other flyers or if you assault in the turn afterwards. It's got all the obviously all the um, advantages of being a monstrous creature, so I don't have to go over those because I assume everybody already knows what those are. So that means if you just want to fly it up and rip the snot out of your standard squishy infantry units or or fire teams you know it's just gonna wee there you go and then land right on top of them and and crush those guys probably fairly quickly uh it is like i said it's a strength five it's toughness five it's got five wounds it's uh, initiative five so it's almost certainly going to go first against your standard troop choices um it's got three attacks it's got leadership 10 it's got a saving throw of four plus uh, the, uh, it's, it's instinctive behavior is feed, but it's fearless. So basically you don't have to worry about it being in synapse range because since it's fearless, that means it's just going to attack the nearest target, uh, viable target, they call it. And viable is important because that means don't hit something that you can't damage. That's, that's really it. That's really it. That's the uh, Hive Crone in a nutshell. Um, I haven't really played against flyers too much. I just shoot them out of the air. Uh, that's my answer to flyers. And But if you want to, this guy I can definitely see as being useful for all the people who worry about marching their Tyranid army across the table. This gets rid of that problem. If you want a flying, uh, flying monstrous creature that's just going to go zooming across the table spit at people with a template weapon, land on top of them, and then basically eat them. Uh, this is it. This is this is who you want. <clears throat> um, that's that. That's really all there is to say about it. That's the overview of the Hive Crone. I hope you like that, and um, I'll see you next time.